Hey there guys, and welcome to another video. Well, today we're gonna install Windows 3 on the Toshiba T3100. So let's get going. Um, as you can see, it's been a... <laughs> it's a mess, a whole file structure, because if you watched uh, the previous video, you know what happened. It was a uh, extended memory issue, but that doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's kind of beautiful, if you don't mind, a bunch of folders, <laughs> look at that, Jesus, what a disgrace, anyway, let's get the system disk in there, for Windows, okay, my system just halted, that's great, first time it happens, I was just a minor freeze though, that's alright, so this one is in, you can switch to drive A now, and list the files, as you can see, there's not a lot of files in there. You can run setup. And it's gonna take us to the setup screen, of course. Okay. Anytime now. There you go. Windows. So yeah, let's go on. Making sure we have Win Tree, that's gonna be the folder name. Computer. Okay, so AT&T monochrome or PVC display, that's right, Microsoft keyboard American network not installed, Microsoft or PC DOS system, yeah, that's right. So let's wait until it gets the files in there, which doesn't take long anyway, so we'll be just fine. You guys don't worry about it. Anytime now, Windows. Anytime now. Set up. Wind help. All right. Windows 3 is one of my favorites, by the way. I like it. This number two of course here you go and I think that's the last one before it prompts us to the setup screen uh, the Windows setup screen you know with all the fancy colors and stuff it's gonna show up right now there you go that's what I'm talking about boys look at that setup printers no read online documents no I don't want to read that at all Look at the colors, so beautiful, nostalgic, you know, it brings back memories that I never had because <laughs> I'm not that old, but maybe in a previous life, who knows, from 97, so I never got to use uh, the T3100, but maybe in a previous life I did, who knows. No one knows, but... Wow, it looks it looks pretty dope, you know. I like it. Very old school, it means business, you know. Paintbrush, there you go. We're gonna have a lot of fun in paintbrush. A lot of fun. We just gotta wait until it installs, and then we can finally enjoy some art. We can maybe even try to paint a Bob Ross on Microsoft Paint. That would be cool. Actually, I never tried to do that. My own Bob Ross on Windows 3. It would be better with colors though. Okay, so this number 4, we got it somewhere. This 4, there you go. Press OK. Okay, sorry, that was my phone. I'm gonna get it out of here. People sending nudes. Feels bad to be popular. JK. It's probably just a phone company complaining about me not paying the bills, but that's life. Life's good, boys. Windows Terminal, okay. File Manager. Oh, I hate the File Manager for a Windows 3.0. It's just lame. 
hurts. It hurts my world to live. It's just useless. You know. Maybe we could get like North on that stop and start. I think it's for two two dot one though. Probably for two point one, but who knows, maybe there's uh something similar for two point oh. Hopefully. Cause uh, some of the default desktop tools are just not cool at all. There we go, we're almost there. 96, 97, and it's gonna install the fonts, which it's gonna prompt us to get the disk in there right now. Disk number six. Let's get it in there. Disk six, K, okay, we get to go. Let's press OK, and we can go on with the whole install procedure. Loads of fun. Wow. Modern. There you go, program manager. And that's the system right there. Games. Windows. Okay, there's a lot more to do still. So this number five for high memory. It has a driver for it, so you don't have to figure that out on your own like it was on Windows 2, which is great. So let's, uh, yeah, make all modifications for me, please. So now we have to get set up applications, yeah, sure. It has just one, this very one there. So there's a bunch. Okay, so add, add CVT paint and add. Those are from Windows 2 probably. So here we go. And it's gonna ask us to restart. So we gotta get the system discount. And now we can reboot. Look at that, nostalgic. Great stuff right there, boys. I don't know if that uh, really happens with the real counterpart, but probably. So CD uh, Win3, and then we press Win, and it takes us to Windows 3.0. Look at that, ain't that amazing? And yes, that's it. Windows 3.0. Let's read uh, the README. Oh, mouse is gone for some reason. It's time to restart, I guess. That was not meant to happen, but it did happen anyway, so let's fix it. Let's give it a hard reset. Yeah, it should have done that. So now, it's probably gonna work. Feels bad to not have a mouse. Feels very bad. Memory test, there you go. All the memory is working just fine, of course it is. Just one megabyte, imagine that. Notepad, notepad itself uses more RAM than that, <laughs> which is, which shows how far we went, uh, CD win tree. Then we press win, do we have a mouse? Please tell me if the mouse is working. Oh yes, it, it is. Look at that, it was just a bug. Read me. Eh, I'm happy now. Okay, so, as you can see, it's installed, it's working, the icons are different because it's monochrome, so they had to change the icons. It's a little awkward at times, but if it's, you can like change a few settings here and there, desktop patterns, all the stuff that you're more than used to. Systems, keyboard, printer, sounds, ports, desktop, daytime, fonts. Look at that, you can set up a whole thing. There's colors. Which I imagine it's uh, test bar colors, which you can change as well if you had a. Let's see, desktop windows default. Can we change uh, basic colors, custom colors? Screen element. You can change the elements to be changed. The windows menu bar. Uh, that's the bar that I want to change. Let's see the colors that we know. It's not. It's title bar actually. Title bar. That's better. So we can change, make it white, which is cool. We can make it plain white like that. And it's uh, okay, we can't read it anymore because it's white and the text is black. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Let's change that color schemes. Oh boy, active title bar. Let's change that real quick. So active title bar. Let's make sure it's uh, readable like that. It's a different color pattern. Okay, that's bad for the eyes. Okay, that's way better. So we have a black stripe now. So it makes it very readable. As you can see, we have some games we could play without seeing colors, which is a little uh, 
uncomfortable. Uh, I don't like that at all, but hey, to each their own. If you want a game like that, that's all right. Accessories. Let's check the accessories we got. We have Notepad. Hello, world. What is this? Windows tree. Okay, so let's save this text. Make sure it... Okay, yeah, it is. Save. It's great. It's right, which is... It was like a word pad, sort of. Hello, universe. Wow, that was a major lag. My name is Edgar Allan Poe. Oh shit, Poe. There you go. Pike, no Pike. Poe. Character, can we change? Yeah, there's terminal. Font. Character. Times New Roman. Look at, look at you, Times. Enlarge. There's no numbers. You can just... You have to go and enlarge it, and then we can make it bold. Look at that. Great. So let's save that as DG. Great. Beautiful. Look at that. We made our own custom text file. There is a clock. Just like Windows 2, we can make it digital, though. Look at that. Great stuff. It's lunchtime. So we better get going. So calculator. Great. Um, let's close the calculator. There's a calendar where we can keep track of stuff. Eat food, of course. Buy a monitor. Uh, I don't know. And then we save it as plan. <laughs> plan M. Okay, that that was not what I was planning. But card file, which. You know what he does? Recorder, where we record macros for, you know, the keyboard. Uh, there's a terminal, there's a notepad, which we've seen already, and this is paintbrush, the one you're used to, the happy paintbrush. Hello. Hello, friend. So, yeah, look at that beautiful. And then we can save as, oh, it's taken a lot. Just save that. It might be because of the memory. Probably the memory and CPU being bottleneck as well. Let's check system resources real quick. Oh, it's help about program manager. Windows 3 free memory, just 347 kilobytes. Microsoft Windows version 3.00a. And it's a, <laughs> it's a literal window instead of the Windows logo, which we are used to, which is pretty curious. I don't think I ever noticed that. Does he have any Easter egg? No, he does not. Okay, so uh, uh, control panel was covered. Oh, yeah, the file manager, which I forgot to mention. It's lame. It's just Windows 2 install, Windows 3, Windows 2 install as well. Oh, we, uh, that's Windows right there. Can we open the files? I'm wondering. Those are from Windows 2. Let's see if they do open. They do. Wow, they do. 88, 2.1. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Can we read uh, the files I made? That was not made by myself, but it's from the system files of Windows 2. That's great, so we do have that as well. I made this one, a previous video, and that's definitely not from Windows 3. That's cool. So we have paint from Windows 2. Look at that. Amazing. That's great. So we have some sort of retro comp stuff, which is excellent. Here's right from Windows 2. So you can see about right, it's 2.1. It's cool. So let's exit that. And let's exit that. Oh, you have to close Ctrl F4. And then we can close the file manager itself. Once you close the file manager, yeah. Goodbye, file manager. So, yeah, I think that's it for today. Today, uh, we got a system installed. It works pretty fine. Apparently, oh, we have some non-Windows applications. Oh, that's just a link thingy. But yeah, I think we got everything sorted out now. The system works fine. It's kind of weird because of the color scheme and the screen res. But all things considered, it's pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. I did enjoy it a lot. So that's a goodbye if you guys have any questions comment sections down below leave a like and subscribe if you wish and uh 
right, goodbye. Y'all take care.